6. Tonight we take a look into one of the grayest areas in Tennessee law enforcement, the job of constable. These elected officials have a badge and carry a gun, so you would think that they would be subject to the same regulations as police officers and deputies. But News Channel 9's Calvin Sneed found out that is far from the case. Calvin, what do we need to know? Well, Kim, for starters, you need to know the man with the sidearm may or may not be trained in when or how to use it. How are you, buddy? By all accounts, Constable Ira Cox is one of the good guys. He's been returned to his job by voters repeatedly, racking up 14 years as a constable. By what we do, papers we serve, and the stuff that we do, we take a load off of the Sheriff's Department. Maybe so, but many people know very little about constables. Lorraine Sharp has lived in Bradley for years, and she's one of them. Now, should I need someone and a constable appear at my door? I would like to think that they're trained and that they would know what they're supposed to do. Here's the overview. Bradley County has seven constables elected by district. It's one of six Tennessee counties in the News Channel 9 viewing area who have them. And each constable is supposed to get 40 hours of law enforcement training each year. It's this last item that's the problem. And we need to know if they have been trained, how well they've been trained. Under state law, training can come from one of three sources, the Sheriff's Department, the State Constables Association, or the State Constables Council. How are you today, sir? Checking all these sources, it appears more than half of Bradley's constables have had no training at all this year. You have mentioned to me on the phone, I have probably encountered one of the biggest questions involving constables. I do not know, because like I said, the ones you've contacted may already have their training and they're not just disclosing, so I can't go that far. Bradley County Sheriff's Captain Tom Wasson says the law does not require the Sheriff's Department or any other agency to keep training records or monitor compliance. We found it hard to believe that all four of the seven Bradley constables have had no training at all. So I reached out to them one by one, and here's what I found out. Jesse Hughes is the only one with all 40 hours this year. Wayne Henry has 32 hours so far. Ira Cox has 34 hours. The other four? Ed Lewis was elected back in August and admits he's had no training since then. Donna Hughes and Richard Alford both claim they've had training but cannot prove it by producing their certificates. Furthermore, the three sources of training deny that Hughes or Alford have been through their programs. Dwayne Hicks wanted to know why I was asking and hung up on me. If there's a badge and a gun involved, Lorraine Sharp believes there should also be documented training. That should be something that they have in their possession all the time, just like we have driver's license in our possession all the time. They should be prepared to show that they are trained and ready to do what they're supposed to do. Henry Bryce, the president of the Tennessee Constables Association, says most constables who do not have training or cannot provide proof of training are usually not very active, but because the law does require 40 hours, they're still going out on a limb if they cannot show it through paperwork. As we said, Bradley County is one of nine counties in the News Channel 9 viewing area who still have constables. Tonight at 11, we'll tell you about the extraordinary reason that Ray County abolished the Office of Constable 14 years ago. Kim? Kevin, thank you.